How to set up a Facebook ad as a car salesman step by step. Check it out. What's going on guys, it's Corey. Listen, this video is gonna be great for all of you that are curious as to how you can actually get yourself out there more as a car salesman by running advertisements using social media, okay? Being Facebook in this case, why Facebook? Let's start with that, all right? Facebook is one of the biggest platforms as far as social media goes, okay? It has about 2 billion active users daily. And yes, that's B for billion, okay? There are about 8 billion people in the world and 2 billion people are using Facebook on a daily basis, okay? So that means that it's a great platform for you to try to get some attention on, that way you can draw more customers in and ultimately generate more sales. Listen, if you wanna be different, this is how you do it. Understand that advertising is what separates you from your competition, okay? A lot of your competition are just doing the organic forms of marketing. Maybe they're just posting on social media, maybe Facebook, marketplace whatever right but they're not actually doing paid marketing they're not actually running ads this is one of the greatest separators for me in my dealership at only 19 20 years old which made me a top car salesman all right i was I actually learned how to run facebook ads and instagram ads and i used to get people that came in all the time to the dealership asking for me like hey listen i'm here to see Corey, and all the guys are looking like how the heck is this guy bringing all these customers in you know they were curious and the whole time what i was doing was just running facebook and instagram ads all right so it's definitely a game changer you're definitely not going to want to miss this and stick to the end to make sure that you learn this skill so i want to give you a step by step from a to z on how you can actually set up a facebook ad to make sure that it's profitable it works great for you and to ensure that you get great results while doing it all right so i'm going to take you into my computer and i'm going to show you how to set it up come on let's do it all right so now we're in my computer all right and i want to take you all from point a all the way to z how you can actually set up a Facebook ad all right even as a beginner I want to show you exactly how to do it step by step first things first when creating a Facebook ad you're gonna obviously want to have a Facebook profile now a lot of you get these two things confused which I'm about to explain in a minute which is a Facebook page and a Facebook profile all right those are two separate things a Facebook profile is actually what you all create when you initially make a Facebook account all right so this is where you can add your friends or friends can add you it's probably the account that you created maybe five ten years ago when you found out about Facebook now a page is more so for businesses okay two separate things my profile is another test account that I created called John Brunette so this is my profile so if I click here right and I scroll down Hey guys, so a lot of you may be interested in figuring out how you can sell more cars or just make more money in general. Listen, DM me the word sold on Instagram at Real Corey Brunette. Once again, DM me the word sold on Instagram at Real Corey Brunette. I'm looking forward to helping you out, see if I can share some nuggets with you. More importantly, looking forward to meeting you. Let's get back to the video. Scroll down and click pages. It should now take me to this screen. Now on your profile, which is what I'm on, my John Brunette profile, right? As you can see, I'm, this is what I'm on. And I can switch to my page over here. You can now create a page, all right? So if you don't already have one, you can create one. So now that you have a page, let's click this Facebook home button on the top left side. And now you should see an option that says Ads Manager. You're gonna wanna click that. Now, in this case, it's gonna ask me to continue setting up my account because I stopped midway in order to make this video. For you all, you should see a tab that says, get started. You're gonna click get started and it should take you to a screen like this. So let's continue with the setup. So I can connect the page to test cards account. That was the page that I created. I can now connect that page to the Instagram. I'm gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna click next. And here, you can add your payment method. So obviously you wanna add your debit or credit card over here. So when you're running ads, you know, Facebook can take their money, of course, right? So we're gonna skip that again. So now, we're gonna jump straight into the ads manager. So explore ads manager. So now, this is where you're actually gonna go through and create the ad itself, all right? So the Facebook ads manager is broken down into three separate sections, right? So it has the campaigns, it has the ad sets, and the ads, all right? Now, all of this might look confusing to you if you're a beginner, but I'm gonna just make this extremely simple and walk you through step by step. So in order to set up an ad, you're gonna obviously wanna have a video preset and I'm gonna show you my video in a minute, but let's just walk through this, all right? So we're gonna click create, right? So we're on the campaign tab, right? Click create. Now, when creating an ad on Facebook, you can choose a bunch of different campaign objectives, right? I'm gonna give you the most simplest one to choose and the easiest one to get done, all right? You're gonna wanna simply click leads, all right? Now, within the leads, it says what it's good for, right? So it says instant forms, messenger and Instagram, conversions and calls, right? So I wanna click leads. I wanna click continue. 
All right, now it's gonna ask me to give my campaign a name, right? So normally I just like to call the campaign whatever the video is about. The video that I'm gonna show you all towards the end when they ask us to choose the video or the image that we wanna use to have displayed on the feeds of people, the offer that I'm using in this specific video is gonna be for a few get pay stubs or bank statements and you're currently employed, right? So we're gonna call this pay stubs and bank statements ad, right? One thing that you always wanna do, right? Especially when you're running a campaign that says something like good credit, bad credit, no credit. You always wanna come here for the special category and select credit. Why? Because if you don't, Facebook won't even approve this ad. They might even ban you or something like that, right? You wanna avoid any issues with Facebook. So we're gonna click credit. We're pretty much good over here. That's all we really need to do for setting up the campaign. Next, now we're gonna to go to the ad set, right? So the ad set is now where you can choose the objective, right? So the conversion type that you want, you can also choose your budget and you can also choose the audience in which you want to target. So let's go through and set all this up. For the ad set, I normally like to just name it like the location that I'm targeting and the interest of people that I'm targeting, right? So I'll say something like dealership, locals, car interest. All right, now what else you want to do? You're going to also want to click messenger, all right? So messenger, this is like I said, it's the easiest form of getting leads that you can choose, all right? So what Messenger does is when people see your ad, they're going to get the option to just send you a direct message. They see your ad, they see the offer that you're making them. And in order for them to get in contact with you, all they have to do is send you a DM straight through Messenger or through your Instagram DM. So we're going to click Messenger. Now here's where they ask you on what Facebook page you want it to be displayed on. Remember the Facebook page that we created right earlier. So test cars account. It should automatically be here because that's the only page that you probably have on your account. If you have multiple pages, you're just going to want to choose the one that you want the ad to be displayed on, right? So view terms really quick. We just got to agree to the terms and conditions really nothing else here that i like to play with here's where you can set a daily budget all right or a lifetime budget i've recently been doing lifetime budgets all right because it also allows me to choose when i want to run my ad and i'll show you that in a minute so put lifetime budget i like to run my ads for let's say 30 days at a time so let's say over 30 days i want to spend 1500 dollars. right we're spending 1500 bucks now over here it's going to say ad scheduling we're going to edit that basically i like to run my ads from 5 a.m to about 12 a.m so in this case it's going to be from here all the way to here so this should be from 5 a.m to 12 a.m right because these are the times here more than likely people are sleeping and the people that we're targeting they're in the same time zone as us right i know most people are asleep around this time so i don't want my ad just being shown right wasting money when nobody's really watching it makes sense cool let's move on to the next step so now we're going into creating the audience here's where you can get creative with the audiences right so location you're going to want to click off united states you're going to want to see if you can either search up your dealership's address, right? Because if your dealership is on here, right? So let's just see if I can find my dealership. So put Toyota of Hollywood. My dealership is actually a place that I can find, right? I want to click Toyota of Hollywood and then I want to put the radius to 20 miles. If you can't find your dealership as an option, what you want to do is just find all of the cities that people come from to buy cars at your dealership, right? So just take me, for example, if I'm in Hollywood, Florida, people are obviously coming from Hollywood, Florida. They're coming from Miami. They're coming from Fort Lauderdale. They're coming from Lauder Hill, et cetera, and et cetera. So you just want to put all the cities in which people come to your dealership from in order to buy a car and then you can just target those places. When you click that option though, it doesn't allow you to choose a radius. So that's fine. All right. The only time you can choose a radius is if you choose a specific location and then you can target a radius around that location that's going to target everyone within that radius. So let's put 20 mile radius around my dealership. Right. So detailed targeting. This is where you can start targeting people's interests. Right. You can get creative with this as well. With me, I know Facebook has a very smart algorithm. Right. So you just want to give Facebook a direction to go in. Their algorithm will start finding people that are more receptive to the ad that you have out. Right. They're going to start finding people that are more likely to engage with it themselves. You just want to give them a direction to go in. So for me, I like to put sedan, All right? So the interests of these people are going to be sedan, SUV, truck, vehicles. Boom. So now we have sedan, SUV, truck, vehicles. Now here you can leave it at all languages. If you want to make target a specific language, you can do that as well. Now we get to placement. So where do you want your ad to be placed? I like to click manual. I don't, I don't click advantage, but it says recommended. You don't need to go for that. I just like to click manual, right? So in this case, I didn't connect my Instagram account. Like remember it asked earlier. So I'm going to unselect that. But if you do have your Instagram account selected, you want to click Instagram as well, or you can just leave it all on Facebook. It's up to you. Right. Me personally, 
I like to run them on both Instagram and Facebook if I had my Instagram account connected like I normally do. But in this case, I'm just making examples so you all can understand the point. Once you click Facebook, there's only two places I like for my content to be shown off. Well, three places. Either the Facebook feed, Facebook stories, or Facebook reels. Same thing with Instagram. It's either gonna be on the Instagram feed, the Instagram stories, or Instagram reels. Everywhere else, I think is a waste of money. So we wanna uncheck these boxes, right? And leave Facebook feed for stories. We're gonna leave that for Facebook stories. And then for reels, you leave Facebook reels. In stream ads, uncheck that. Search, uncheck that, right? Next, you can skip all this stuff. And then now we get to the ad part. So now you can name your ad, right? The ad is gonna be basically the video or the image that you're promoting. So in this case, the ad name is gonna be, paste the video. See, this is where I could have added my Instagram account. If you click this, it should ask you to connect your Instagram if you wanna connect your Instagram account, which I recommend if you do have an account. Now you're gonna click single image or video, right? In this case, we're just doing a single image or video. Keep things simple. And we're gonna wanna add a video. So in this case, I'm gonna upload the video from my videos, promo ad, and bank statement. So check this out. So this is actually the ad that we're running. This is how it would look on, on someone's feed, right? So let's play. What's going on everyone? It's Corey, enable a car guy. Listen, if you're currently employed or self-employed and get pay stubs or bank statements and need a car, DM me right now. We work with good credit, bad credit, no credit, it doesn't matter. Remember, as low as $500 to $1,000 down to get you the car get up to 90 days before you make your first payment. So if you're interested, DM me and I'll take care of the rest. All right, so every time you see a sponsored post when you're scrolling down on Facebook or Instagram where it has like, you see a post and it says sponsored at the top, that's someone who went through these steps basically, right? So they, they promoted their ad either on Facebook or on Instagram and then that's why it's sponsored. So that's exactly how your post would look as well on someone's feed. It's gonna say sponsored, right? So we got the video selected. All right, now it's gonna ask for primary text. So primary text is basically where you'd write your description. All right, I'm gonna just copy and paste this, this description that I have because I have that same video posted on my Instagram. So we're gonna take that same caption, we're just gonna paste it. So now we have an entire caption written out, right? So it's gonna look like this on someone's feet. The headline, I like to just put neighborhood car guy. That's like what I call myself. I call myself the neighborhood car guy. The description, get approved today. Well, I have everything laid out. My headline is neighborhood car guy and my description is get approved today. So now the call to action, obviously you want to have it to send message. So when people are scrolling down, when they see your ad, they're going to get the option to send you a message directly, right? So the call to action is going to be send message. The purpose of this campaign is to get messages. Remember we collected that during this stage over here in the ad set stage. It's going to say send message. We're going to scroll down now. You can do a message template. Message template is pretty simple, something like this. So when people click the send message button, they're going to automatically get this message before they send you a message. So once they click send message, they'll get something like this. It's gonna say, hi, first name. You can edit these type of things. You don't need to have one. It's not that important. You just wanna strike a conversation, but you can go in and you can kind of play with that and make it fit however you want it to make fit for you and your offer. Now, tracking, this is where you can set up something called a Facebook pixel, but that's if you have a website. In this case, we don't need a website to get these leads because everything is being done on Facebook, so we can skip that as well for this step. And that's basically it. That's basically the end of setting up ads. So in this case, what you do is you simply click publish all right and before you can publish i think it's going to ask you to set up your payment method so hopefully you have that ready to rock and roll and once you click publish then you should wait maybe a few hours for your ad to get approved by facebook and once it gets approved you'll be live in a few hours or even a few minutes maybe once facebook starts to spend you know some of your money you're going to start getting dms you're going to start getting messages basically you're going to start getting leads for you to start working trying to set appointments bringing them all in and overall just selling them a car all right but that basically does it for this step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to set up a Facebook ad. Like I said, it's extremely profitable if you know what you're doing. If you set it up correctly, you definitely can generate tons of leads. This is what I was able to do at 19, 20 years old, which helped me become a top car salesman in my dealership. And it definitely changed the game for me. I'm just trying to give you all as much free value as possible. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this definitely helps you out and you start crushing. All right, have a good one. Ultimately, if you follow these steps correctly, you're definitely going to kill it. It's a hundred percent. If you do it correctly, you're going to be profitable. All right. There's no way that if you do the steps and you follow a step-by-step -step process and you actually follow the tips that are given in this video and ultimately on this channel, there's no way you're not profitable with Facebook ads, all right? Like I said, it's changed my life and I'm hoping it can change yours. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you all in the next one. Glad you made it to the end of the video. I got two options for you. You can either watch the next video or you can DM me the word sold on Instagram at Real Corey Burnett. If you're ready to take your car sales career to the next level, I'm looking forward to helping you out. More importantly, looking forward to meeting you. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a blessed day.